This game is like the Super Bowl for North Dakota. The rush is on. Kosterman steps up, now buys more time. Nobody Looking open. for a receiver, there's nobody there. The Bison have held. 75 pounds, never felt so light. There's nothing more we can add. Morrell to the left. Here's the pitch, Malone is stopped. And the Sioux have won it. Hoisting the nickel, it'll stay in Grand Forks. You know, it's it's fantastic for our area to, uh, to have this game. It can divide people, but it also unites people. And that's the cool thing about bringing this all together. It's long overdue. I mean, we need to have this type of rivalry in North Dakota. It's great. It's great for everybody. And we're best of friends until we come to today. Now today, we'll be fine out here, but once we get inside, no holes barred. When I came here in 2014, I was very clear on my feelings. I felt the game was important to be played because the universities are for the people. You know, there's no pro sports here, so this is what they die for. Uh, they just love UND and DSU. I think it's kind of like a Duke UNC or a Michigan Ohio State. You gotta pick a side. You're either one or the other, and you can't have half your foot in the pond. I mean, it's it's something that's pretty special in this state, and I, it's pretty special to, to be able to play in this game, actually. We're excited for the opportunity to, you know, go to Fargo and play this big time game that um, took a break, obviously. We're just excited to get that uh, rivalry going back again. It is a big opportunity. This team is number one in the country, so this presents a huge opportunity for our football program. Most of these guys grew up just wanting to play in this game, um, and so those are kind of the guys we're playing for. I would say I've been looking forward to playing and you know, wanting to play in the Fargo Dome uh, against the Bison since I was, I don't know, probably like 10 or something. <laughs> it's a team that I, that I was in the area with. Uh, I grew up around kind of the, the culture of the NDSU and what they did, but I mean, coming here was, without a doubt, the best decision I've made in my life, and I think, uh, I think it's something that a lot of us local guys, like me and James, obviously look forward to, and uh, we really just can't wait to get out there. Since I transferred here, I've been thinking about it, and everyone on our team has been thinking about it, and I'm sure they have too, so it's, it's a huge deal for the state, and um, I'm just glad we have this opportunity to like start it up again. Let's go, let's go! First down right here, let's go, come on! Hey, let's go! Let's go, let's execute here. Let's execute, let's go, let's go. Who wouldn't want to go play down there? Um, who wouldn't want to play in that environment? It's kind of what you dream of doing. And that's that's exactly how we'll approach it. Their fans are probably as crazy as they come and they get into it. So that's definitely a challenge for teams to come in there and, and play them at their place. We played in big venues before with a lot of people. You know, last year is Washington with you know 60,000 people or something like that. but. You know, the Fargo Dome had enclosed space and, you know, 20,000 some fans, I think it, it'll be louder than anything we've ever experienced. So, you know, we're going to prepare hard. We're going to have to go, you know, some silent cadences, something like that. And throughout the week, uh, we're going to have, you know, the speakers blaring, you know, try to get used to it as an offense because it'll be loud and it'll be hard to hear. Outside noise, and you focus on learning the plan, and then you develop a belief that we can go down there and do something really special on Saturday. But right now, let's do a great job of that. Focus on what's really important. Eliminate the noise. We know there's going to be more of a buzz because of the proximity of the opponent, and, and we know that for our fan base and for alumni, this is a different week. But for us, we need to eliminate that noise and really focus on our preparation. This isn't just a rivalry game, it's kind of one of, the, one of those that dates back quite a while and I mean it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to play in this game. Obviously there's going to be you know, a lot of emotions on both sides. If you're not juiced up for this game, something's wrong with you. <laughs> I don't want to go through life saying I didn't get to beat these guys at least once and I mean it's my only shot maybe, maybe not, but I don't want to come out of here without a dub against these guys. This afternoon the University of North Dakota in a packed building where 95% are going to be cheering against them, are going to try to do what so many have failed, and that is pick off North Dakota State. Got to get that look around, man. we got to do something special right now. It's for each other, OK? Yeah. Can't wait to watch you guys play. Let's do it, all right? 
Guys, you get one shot at this thing. You understand? And you got to give it 60 minutes. You got to be the most focused team. You got to be the most composed. Play with the greatest energy, effort. Nothing happens that we can't handle. You understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the focus is on the field. You understand that? Yes, sir. That's our best shot. Yes, sir. Let's be the best team today. Let's play together. Don't try to tell anybody this is just another non-conference game. There's something different today. Two old foes getting back together in 2019. The game against North Dakota State was really the second game of the season. Opportunity to play the number one ranked team in the country. Come on! Come on! Hearts are pounding in the Fargo Dome and they will be for four consecutive quarters. We were gritty. We were really tough at times. You know, it was a physical football team that we uh, played against, and I thought we played physical. Trey Lance swallowed up in the backfield, and Jackson Turner found his way in. They were good at running the ball, and whenever we weren't lined up or whenever we made like a minor mistake, they would capitalize on it. Trey Lance keeps it himself. He's got a wide open hole. Touchdown, North Dakota State. 13-0 Bison. We knew we had to score. I think we mixed in a couple tempo plays. Um, you know, a couple crucial third downs uh, we executed. So I, I just thought the vibe was a little different. Um, the energy was a little different. Um, and we put together a good drive, which is good to see. North Dakota needs to get to the 19-yard line. Zero and back to pass. Slings it. It is caught by Mog. He sheds the defender. Mog down inside the 15. We were able to move the ball, pass the ball well, and then we were, I was able, we were able to punch it in as a unit. Zimmerman calling for it. Hand off to James. James up the middle. Touchdown! Freight train James! Touchdown, North Dakota! That's a 75-yard drive against a very stout defense. Yeah, it was a great feeling, you know. It was a close game at that point, so I was, it was an amazing feeling. It was nice to see a Fargo native score in Fargo Dome. New scores, it's NDSU 14, UND 7. We definitely have to take a lot from that drive, just moving on for the rest of the season. Come on, it's a good stop, let's go, let's keep fighting. Quarterback keep, Lance doing a little shimmy and a shake. He's got room on the sideline. Lance finally put down inside the 10. Another big hit for North Dakota State. Against a team like that, you can't make many mistakes, you know, and I think we made way too many mistakes. And yeah, just sort of just, it was going, going downhill after that. A lot of playing defense is, is getting lined up and, and getting your eyes in the right spot. And a lot of times as, uh, you know, things maybe don't go your way a while or for a for a period of time I think guys sometimes can wander and I just didn't think that we were consistent enough down there you know playing and play out we had some good plays but but just not consistent enough to be able to you know to play championship defense and, and really keep our team in it. Lance out of the gun looks to his right waiting got all day to throw comes across wide open tight end of the middle and inside the 10 five oh my touchdown 30 to 7 NDSU. We didn't have the result we wanted, obviously, and uh, we have to play a lot better than that if we want to have a, the season we want. The 112th meeting of this rivalry goes to North Dakota State, 38 to 7. Your final Bison win this afternoon. We're a bit disappointed with the result, you know, but uh, I feel the same way about our team today as I felt Friday before that game. We got a lot to play for yet. I love these guys; they're working hard. Our coaching staff is working hard, and we're going to use it to learn and we're gonna improve from it.